Hello to the second part of this tutorial. In the last part we modeled these three pieces in here and in this tutorial I will show you how to arrange them to make a Rubik's Cube. Ok, so this will be just a boring video, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you by now, because we are just going to duplicate them and rotate them, scale them or things like that, so it's not hard. Ok, so let's just start doing that. As you can see I have this edge piece in here and below it I must have a I must have a center piece. So for that I'll just select the center piece and duplicate it by shift the clicking and I'll rotate this along the Y 90 degrees. Uh, why? That's why 90 degrees and we are going to snap them to actually we are going to use a lot of snapping in this tutorial so make sure you click ctrl shift tab to, uh, to switch your snapping tag to vertex and to snap to a point just hold down ctrl while moving and the object will just snap to a vertex ok so we move the centerpiece right in there on the egg by snapping on the X and uh, and Z axis. Okay. Now we duplicated the the edge piece, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees along the along the Y axis. And I'll just switch to bounded box center. Oh, actually, medium point. All right. But the center point, center point is in the same place as the cursor, so it won't have much effect. Okay, now grab that duplicated edge piece to that vertex by holding down control while moving. And now, because because there is this this uh, thing that comes out of the edge piece that thing that right in there uh, you can snap correctly to that point so I'll just place it approximately to to that point in there okay it doesn't need to be perfect you know just approximating the uh, the places will be just fine Ok, now duplicate again that uh, edge piece and rotate 180 degrees on the z-axis. Ok, that, that's fine. Now select the center piece and duplicate it and rotate 180 degrees on the y-axis. Ok, now grab it down on the z-axis, duplicate the edge piece again and rotate 90 degrees as you can see on the y-axis and again place it by snapping to a vertex ok just duplicate the center piece again and rotate on the y-axis Alright, now just grab on the Z and X, uh, hold down control and snap to that vertex. Okay, duplicate the corners and now we are just going to fill in the corners. There are four corners on the top and four on the bottom. So after you duplicated the just rotate along X. 90 degrees and as you can see it just place it correctly without any more changes just rotating because the center uh, because the center point of the object is in the center of the cube so it rotates correctly 
okay the top corners are done now duplicate one corner again and rotate along y uh, 90 degrees okay so the rotation is not not actually so good so we'll just place it by selecting the object and pressing G to grab it and place it in the four corners of the cube okay after we done that corner just duplicated and rotate on the Z axis again okay now uh, G or use that widget to move it on the X and Y axis alright uh, I snapped it right there also as you can see I'm not snapping all the time because I I'm just approximating the uh, the gap between those objects if we just snap every object it will look just you look kind of perfect and the cube is not perfect in reality okay and again place the second corner and duplicate it and okay one more corner all right these the eight corners of the Rubik's cube are done and we have some center pieces and edge pieces that we must duplicate and position correctly and pretty much pretty much that will would be it would be this tutorial uh, but before that let me show you why i add this cylinder i'm going to go into edit mode uh, and i'll grab the bottom the bottom vertices and grab them down till about there okay so duplicate that bottom circle and bring it a little bit up okay and extrude it extrude and scale and extrude again down on the z-axis and this I can do the same do the same thing on the top and this actually is the piece that that holds the other pieces together together so you can imagine that if you don't have this cylinder right here on the on the inside of the cube they'll just fall apart all the pieces all the pieces okay so uh, select the whole object and duplicate it and rotate 90 degrees as you can see okay and just select uh, that duplicated object by hovering over a vertice and pressing L to select linked and duplicate again and rotate on the axis 90 degrees okay as you can see the, this is the thing that uh, doesn't let the pieces fall apart from the Rubik's Cube it's just a basic view of the inside okay again I duplicated that uh, that edge piece and I rotated uh, 90 degrees and then 180 degrees on the z-axis okay and one face is done duplicate again the edge piece on the bottom face because the top face is done okay and I'll just press it right there duplicate again and that is the the middle faces right there as you could see I've got two faces done 
uh, the top I'm uh, sorry the bottom one needs to be done two more edge pieces and on the bottom two more on the left side and two center pieces and this cube will be done so I'll just do the center piece right now okay right in there again duplicate it and place it on the other side okay you can do that by scaling just scale on the y-axis negative one and that will mirror mirror it across one tip for you <laughs> scaling negative one makes it a mirror but make sure you uh, you must look on the origin point when you scale like this all right so fill in those two edges okay and two more edges and we are done okay I duplicated that edge and um, actually uh, I wrote it along the z axis negative 90 degrees okay and I just need some I just need to place it correctly in here all right grab it along z and there's one more to go as you could see our cube has some a shape like a cube right now <laughs> okay duplicate that one and rotate again on the z axis and we need to place it in in the correct position okay so this was the last part and the cube uh, the rubik's cube is is done as you can see this is the inside and how it looks as you can see and uh, actually one more thing you could have done was the was adding a subsurf modifier to it but uh, and also adding, adding some loops in there and maybe crease use the crease function but I'm not going to do that because you <laughs> actually I should have done that before duplicating each of the object because now you have a lot of work if you want to apply a subserve modifier to every object okay so you could have done that before duplicating them if you wanted and pretty much this is it this is the Rubik's Cube thank you for watching and Please tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and leave a comment below with what you would want next. Okay, so thank you for watching.